This video is for you if you're stuck in a dead-end job where you don't feel respected or appreciated. You've always kind of been toying around with the idea of potentially jumping into a tech job. You've seen all the folks on social media in tech. You've heard people can make six figures and plenty of money. People riding around in nice cars and buying nice houses. But when you look at yourself, you feel like, you know what? I just don't have that tech background. It just doesn't feel like me. Well, I'm here to tell you in this video, no matter whether you have been an experienced professional working in the corporate America for many years in a non-technical role, whether you are a college student who's just beginning your journey and you feel stuck because you just can't find a tech job, or if you're someone with no college degree at all, I'm going to show you here very simply a strategy that you can start with to get you into the tech industry and on your way. Let's start with debunking three myths about the tech industry that have been holding you back. The first is you do not have to be a genius to work in tech. There's this misconception that you have to be some sort of super nerd with thick glasses and a pocket protector to be successful in tech. It's simply not true. The second is that you need to be a techie. I don't know about you, but just because you weren't born knowing how to code or being able to build a PC from scratch with parts doesn't mean you can't be successful in tech. And I'll show you later in the video where you can start to build fundamental IT skills. The third and possibly biggest lie and myth you've ever been told is that you need a college degree. This was a thing many years ago where corporations were stricter on whether or not you had a college degree. In today's age, the college degree for a lot of places has moved from the required area of the job description to preferred. As long as you can demonstrate that you have the technical competence that the role requires, these corporations, they don't care whether you learned that in college or whether you were in your basement watching YouTube videos trying to learn these skills. In fact, over the years, I have worked with many talented and very intelligent people in the tech industry. And guess what? Some of them did not have a college degree, which proves you don't need it either if you don't have one. But hold up a minute because there's always a big but. There are some things that you do need in order to be successful in the tech industry. The first is you need to have a natural curiosity and love for learning. The tech industry is always evolving. Arguably, it's evolving faster now than it ever has. Using myself as an example, the skills that I entered into the tech industry with could have never solely carried me and gotten me to the point where I am now. Over the years, I've had to constantly evolve, level up my skills, reinvent myself, and sharpen the saw, as I like to say. And you're gonna to need to have to do the same thing if you want to remain relevant and effective in your field. Second, you need to enjoy helping people. When you go into the tech industry, yes, I understand tech is cool and everyone loves tech, but at the end of the day, you are getting paid to leverage your technical skills to help people. So it's very important that you work backwards from what your customer needs and figure out what their business outcomes so you can use your technical skills to deliver the business outcomes that your customers want to achieve. And third, you're going to have to become a really good problem solver. You have technical skills. You have outcomes your customers want to achieve. You have to be able to define problem statements, define what the challenges are, and to figure out how you're going to go from A to Z with your technical skills to overcome the challenges that your customers are depending on you to solve. Don't worry, if you're not the best problem solver today, that's a mind muscle that you can continue to work on and improve over time. So what if you have zero technical skills? Where do you even begin? I always recommend starting with CompTIA certifications. CompTIA is an organization that is a leading voice in the global information technology ecosystem. And the CompTIA organization has helped many people launch their information technology careers. I'm one of those people. Over 20 years ago, 
I studied and passed my first CompTIA certification, the CompTIA A+. And the CompTIA A+, certification is still one of the most sought after certifications today to launch an IT career. In addition to the CompTIA A+, certification, I want you to take a look at two other CompTIA certifications, the Network Plus and the Security Plus. The Network Plus gives you essential skills, helping you learn more about the OSI model, routers and switches, and local area networks and cabling and etc. CompTIA Security Plus is going to give you a very good baseline of operational security and network security best practices. Now to be honest, getting all three CompTIA certifications that I've outlined here would be an ideal scenario, but I know this can be overwhelming. That's why I want to zoom in on the focus here of the CompTIA A+. Don't worry about Network Plus and Security Plus right now. Remember, you're coming from a zero technical background. So I want you to focus on the CompTIA A+. Eventually, the skills you learn with the CompTIA A+, are going to help you along, not only on the Network Plus, Security Plus, but future technical certifications. The other great thing about the CompTIA A+, is that even though you're not going to initially focus on Network Plus and Security Plus, the CompTIA A+, covers a wide range of IT skills and best practices that include hardware, storage, troubleshooting, operating systems, software, network, virtualization, cloud, and more. This will undoubtedly help you in so many areas of the tech field. Now, I know what you're thinking. You're putting in all this work. You're thinking, what kind of job can I get with this? Well, just slow down for a second here. Some of the jobs you could get with A plus are working on the help desk, desktop support, junior sysadmin. But I know a lot of you may say, hold on one second. I don't want to be on a help desk or I don't want to be a junior sysadmin. Well, I have good news for you. You have to look at it different. CompTIA A plus is a fundamental certification to help you launch your information technology career. It is a start to your journey, not a destination on the journey. So it's going to be a certification that you're going to get that you will use those skills to help you navigate more complex certifications that will give you even more depth and be able to apply for jobs that are more senior level and that pay better. You could definitely get a job with A+, but the types of jobs you're going to get may be a bit limited versus other certifications you can get. This is fine if you don't mind getting a job, getting some pay, as long as you continue the study process to continue leveling up your skills. You don't want to get stuck on a help desk or desktop support. Trust me, I worked help desk for the first few years of my IT career, and I knew pretty soon that it's not a place that I wanted to spend the rest of my career. I'll put a link down below so you can explore CompTIA's website and learn more about the A+, Network+, and Security+, Plus certifications. Now comes the part where I need you to do a favor for me. If you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. I have a number of great tech videos on here that you can enjoy right now after this one, and I have lots more tech videos planned for the channel. Also, please make sure to like and share the videos as it helps to grow the channel and you help me to help others on their tech journey. And one last thing, before you go, check out these videos as I'm sure you'll like them as well.